I decided it was time to look into the other components that are packaged with Animate CC. This is a basic setup. This is HTML canvas, blank canvas. I added an extra layer that I named Actions. So first one I decided to go with was I went to open up the windows and components and I decided to go with a radio set. So I dragged that on. All right. So it's like any of the different kinds of um, components. I can change the size. So I'm going to make it bigger. I'm going to make it wider. I can do that. It needs a label. So I'm just going to call this cars because I'm just going to add cars to the list. It's visible. Now I need to add things to the list, the items. Plus, and change that zero to Chevy. Okay. And I'll add another one and I'll make that Ford. And I'll add another one and I'll make that um, Lincoln. I don't know how to spell Lincoln. I think it's Lincoln. Yeah. And say OK. Now, if I just test it, command return. And <clears throat> you'll see that there are check boxes. And when I click on them, something happens. But nothing happens. It's just that I can choose them because they're a radio set. Okay. So what if I want to make them do something? Now, the thing that I learned about this is there's no value on these. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Now, I'm going to open up my... Um, they can see the bottom here so you can see what's going on. So here's all our things, cars, whatever. And if you start flipping this stuff down, you can see that there's a thing called radio set zero. So that's that. Okay. And then we get down here to inputs. It says name, ID, class, but that's it. And then here, where you would, the thing that you want to know, which is the label, which would probably be what you could, would consider the value, is down here. So how do I get there? Well, that's what the trick is. So I, what I want to do is I want to be able to click one of those radio set buttons, and I want them to put the label name into this text field. So i got a text field. And I'm just going to call car name. Okay, so I got car name. And I'm not going to change anything because I really don't care. It's dynamic text because we need that in order to, when we click, that we'll send it. Okay, so we got that part done. So we're all set, ready to go. I'm going to select this. Now, what I need is... I need the action windows open because obviously we're going to write some code. So I'm going to move this over here. And there are code snippets for this. So let's start with that. Code snippet. Come down to components, jQuery UI, and radio section choose event. Awesome. And I can just place that. What do you mean? Oh, it's because I didn't name it. I need to name the radio set. Let's name it uh, The Cars. Obviously, I'm into cars this morning. So now let's go ahead and do this. Double click. And it's all set to go. Let's open this up so you can see it better. Just tear that open. And you can see it's a typical click response. But God bless the people from Adobe. They give us a hint. Event Target ID so that we can get the ID of each one of the different things we click and then we can put it someplace else. Now one, now that we've added the code, we'll go back and look at it. So command return and then again, like I said, I'll open this up so I can see it. And I'm going to flip this down so you can see the inputs. So I got to go down a bit and the label. Now when I click this when I click this, they're going to send a little message to the console, and the console says radio 10. If I click the next one, 11, one, and the next one, 21. So you can have as many of these as you want, but it picks up what it is, what event you're 
the ID event you're picking up. Okay, now I need to add what I want it to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable. And a variable is simple, it's VAR, and I'm going to name this my car. That's my variable. And equals. Now, the thing that they didn't make easy was having me figure out how to get to the label to do this. So we're going to open a um, parentheses and inside double quotes label because that's where we're going for is the label. Then square bracket for okay equals. Now I'm going to close this with double quotes is because now I want to add the um, the event target ID. So how I do that is I add a plus sign. And I'll just copy this because you know, I'm kind of lazy and I don't want to screw it up. Then I'll paste it. And then I'll add another plus sign. Then I'll open my double quotes again. I'll close my square bracket. Close my double quotes. Close my parentheses. Dot. Text. Open parentheses, close parentheses, semicolon. That's my variable. So anytime I type my car, it's going to go all through this. And I added a colon, so let's make that a semicolon. There we go. Now, so we've got our variable, my car. It's the label for, okay, so now I need to get it into the text box. Well, the text box, the way I call that is this dot car name, because that's the name of my text box. Dot text equals my car, semicolon, test it, and there you go, and we'll change with each one. So the trick to this is making sure that you've got your variable written out properly, and that's how you use a box. Now you can, now that you know how to choose the label, which is really the value, you can plug that into all kinds of different things and do any kind of event you want attached to a particular radio um, target. So you can see that I started to write an if statement down here. So let's do that. Let's uh, have an alert pop up. Alert. What was the first one? I think it's a Chevy. Chevy. C-H-E-V-Y. Chevy and semicolon. So now let's see what happens. Whoops, I didn't, you know what I didn't do? I have to undo this because if you don't, it won't work. So command return and I am missed, oh, C-H-E-V-Y. And I am missing a curly brace. So let's do this. And let's link in, nothing, Ford, nothing, Chevy, whoop, not only, so when we close this, that'll turn to Chevy. So you can see you can do almost anything you want with this. And that's how you use the radio set.